Hello, hi, my name is Makia Waller and I'm just super excited to share this message with you. So today God has me pondering the word respect. Respect is so important that Aretha Franklin, she actually sung about it. You remember the song R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me, respect. And so when I think about respect, I think about um, people in the workplace always saying that they want to be respected. They don't care about being liked. They just want to be respected. And so I took a deep dive and I just thought about, you know, what it actually means to be respected in this, in this society, in this culture that we live in. Um, there are so many people with so many different titles and, um, people have many titles that, um, they're in positions that uh, either God gave them or they put themselves in the position. But if you put yourself in the position and you're um, wanting respect and you, you did things to get in a position and um, you are not really that person that is in the position because you actually um, was crooked to get there, um, you definitely can't align to that position nor that title. You don't know what it really means to actually be that person. And so a lot of times people are in position and they have titles and they're misaligned. And so they're misaligned to who they are. And so they are misaligned to who they are because they can't live up to the title that they're professing. So just for instance, if I took my daughter to, uh, uh, or if I took anyone to the hospital that was unstable and they needed to be cared for, um, I would take the person to the hospital to be stabilized. And I would put my belief that the people at the doctors would be able to perform. And so a lot of times, some people get in positions that they're unable to perform. They don't have what it takes because they're not the person for the job. They are not aligned to that position because that's not who they are. But they want people to believe that that's who they are. So that's when disrespect comes in because people can't respect a person that is misaligned. So if you call yourself a doctor, then you definitely have to be a doctor, right? You've got to know how to actually um, help someone. Um, you got to know your job. You got to know what you're doing. You just can't go around and call yourself different things. And when God calls people in the kingdom, he gives them functions. He gives them ability. He gives them giftings and talents. And so it's not based off of the world's standards, but definitely, you will definitely be able to perform the task of whatever God has called you to and whatever you've answered the call for. So it will be evident in your life. And one way we know it will be evident, it will be evident based off of your character. It will be based off of your integrity. So I'm reminded of when um, Eve when she actually was in the garden and she was given a forbidden fruit and she gave the forbidden fruit to Adam. And after they did eat, the Lord came looking for them. And so he said, where are thou? Well, we know the God that created heaven and earth, the God that created everything in the world knew exactly where Adam and Eve was. But he wanted to know where was the people that he created. He wanted to know why they were hiding, why they were covering themselves with fig leaves, why they were around here comparing themselves to other people. Why they didn't feel good enough. Now I'm talking about you now. 
I'm talking about you, why you don't feel good enough, okay? Or why you are hiding your gifts, why you can't be who God called you to be. Now, I know Jesus makes up the 100%. I know nobody's perfect. I know that grace is sufficient. But when you are blatantly, blatantly misaligned, that's a problem. And so we want respect when we won't give respect. And when I say give respect, I mean you're giving of yourself. Every day that you get up and every day that you call yourself something that you are not aligned to, you're giving that to the world. And you are not, uh, if you're not aligned to it, you're disrespecting yourself. You're disrespecting yourself. You want to know why you're disrespecting yourself? Because every day that you're misaligned, that's every day that you're being incongruent with who you really are. So it behooves you to stop playing in positions. And it's time that we get in the right positions where God has called us to be so that we can do his will and his purpose for our lives. Every last one of us has uh, an assignment and we need to get there. We need to be where God has called us to be. And if you're misaligned, you don't want to do the will of the Father and you're in the kingdom of God and you don't want to walk and walk in integrity with your title, then you need to just go sit down because now is not the time. Now is not the hour. The Bible says that if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, then I will heal their land. Let me tell you something. Now is not the time to be misaligned because there is some things that's, are about, that's about to take place that if you are misaligned, you are going to miss what God has for you. So this is not only for people that are in position, but this is for people that need to get in position. So if you are defining yourself based off of other people and you are letting rejection define you, then I'm telling you today to take yourself, dust yourself off and get up. Get up and let the Lord use you. Get in position. There is an army that's about to rise up and it is much needed in this season. And we've got to get in our rightful place and we've got to be on the wall and we've got to pray. It is praying time and you know, and when you pray, you also move your feet. So when you pray, you also move your feet. That means that whatever the Lord tells you to do, you're obedient to it. And you're walking in his will and his purpose and his way. Because this is the hour where God is going to move miraculously. These hurricanes, this stuff that's going on, the movement in the earth realm is not happening by chance. So it behooves you to get in alignment with the Lord in this season. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. I thank you, God. I thank you, God, that somebody is moving. They're getting their purpose and their fight back. And they're going to begin to begin to walk in their purpose and their destiny. And I just hear, I, I know that um, things are... Um, you know, maybe misaligned in your life right now, but you got to get aligned and you got to do it today. You've got to do it today. Don't wait another moment. Don't wait another hour. Uh, surrender to the Father and, and do what he called you to do. Even if you, if nobody else, nobody believes it but you, you move forward because when God calls you, 
He does not put you on a conference call. He tells you and you just have to move. But let me tell you, for these people that are in position and you're out of alignment, you better get in alignment. This is not the time for God to ask you, where are thou? So anyway, I wrote this book, Kingdom Women Win. And it's a beautiful book. Um, I talk about respect in this book. And um, I literally have written nine bestsellers. And writing my first book, I didn't have any authors around me. I didn't know any authors. But I was obedient to what God called me to do. And I'm so glad I did. Um, I'm just so glad I did. It changed my life drastically. Um, so I, I decided I would step out on faith and do what God called me to do. And I'm continuing to do what God calls me to do. And when you hear the call, answer it. And then when you answer it, make sure you get the instructions. Don't just step out there. Get the instructions from the Lord so you'll know exactly what to do. Alrighty. Well, you all have a blessed day. I hope that um, something I said has blessed your life. And I pray that Jesus is pleased with the words that have gone forth. In Jesus' name, amen.